Hello, everyone. Looks like there are others out there in need of help. Welcome back to Phasmophobia. My name is Rain, and we are about to join up with Mistress Abest. <laughs> Close enough, right? <laughs> anyway, I get this code in, and then we can hit it. Well, you know, we gotta fuck around first. We'll find out later, but we're gonna fuck around first. Okay. Hi! Hello! <laughs> I'm here! <laughs> <laughs> I made it! How you doing? <laughs> well, you know... <laughs> hey, you got everything done you needed to do. That That's a victory. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It, 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 it was a halfway <laughs> decent day, and then caregiver texts mom that she won't be showing up tomorrow, so. That means I get morning shift. Well, shit. So fucking excited. You, you know, I can tell. I, I can hear it in your voice. We've been over this. We're not morning people. <laughs> no. We can't no, even, not even a little talk bit. to people within the first hour minimum. <laughs> and yet now for two days in a row, I have had to do exactly that at a much earlier yeah. time than I typically like. So I'm worried Believe about it. tomorrow morning. <laughs> Aren't we just lucky? <laughs> Just so sure. lucky. <laughs> so fucking lucky. Sure. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, you can cut the fucking sarcasm with a fucking dull butter knife. <laughs> no, it won't make it through this sarcasm. This sarcasm has leather on it. <laughs> it can try to cut through it. It'll make a dent, but that's it. Hell, you'll need a chainsaw or something. <laughs> It'll simply make a small indent. <laughs> Speaking of which, <laughs> cutting things with a chainsaw. Um, have you ever used a chainsaw? I have not. <laughs> okay. Well. What did you do? <laughs> I did not do a thing. I, I did not. I was not involved. <laughs> but the way the, the chain typically goes on a chainsaw blade, it goes away from you on top of the bar, and it returns toward you underneath the bar. Right. Um, which means that if the chain breaks, it's less likely to fly up into your face, which would be bad. Just a little but bit. But it also means that you're fighting the saw a little bit because as the chain is coming toward you as you're cutting, it's putting down some traction heading away from you. Right. Um, and a certain somebody that I know happened to be using a chainsaw to cut up a dropped tree. Oh, no. And we're not sure exactly what the hell that saw hit. It might have been a chunk of wire. It might have just been a really hard knot. Nobody's really sure. Oh, no. Or it could have been the fact that the chain itself was a little too dull. Either way, the chain bit into whatever it found in there. It was unable to cut what it was hitting. And it also didn't kick back, which is good because that can kill the operator. What it did do, however was the chain went from full speed to dead stop in about a millimeter with the motor still running. Oh, God. And so this saw just yeeted itself the fuck out of the tree. <laughs> I will this pay you went, for that Ugh. footage. <laughs> <laughs> Leaving him standing there with two empty hands and this kind of like, huh? Sort of... <laughs> I will pay for that footage. <laughs> uh, I wish I had it. Uh, but 
you know, it's just one of those moments where things happened way too fast for the human brain. And so yeah. the only response available is, what? Right. <laughs> You know, we Meanwhile, see those song. responses all the fucking time in movies and shit, and we yell at them for oh, yeah. it, but... Yep. They yeah, happen. Meanwhile, this <laughs> this 17-pound motorized saw decided, I'm going to be a javelin, and... <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> now... There may be people out there wondering, well, wait a minute, there's supposed to be a chain break. The moment you let go of the handle, the chain should stop. And indeed, you would be correct. If this particular individual hadn't gotten sick and tired of having his hand cramp up holding <laughs> the chain break open, so he had zip-tied it in place. <laughs> Thus oh. disabling one of the key safety features of a chainsaw. <laughs> you think he learned uh. his lesson? No. <laughs> oh, that's fantastic. <laughs> I could see it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> that saw lived its best life, though, for about 15 it, seconds. It really did. It got a lovely sailing taste through the air, singing. Freedom. I believe I can fly. <laughs> <laughs> I'm free. <laughs> I believe I can. Oh shit! I was wrong. <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of like my rewrite of the little engine that could. You know, as he's going up the hill, oh, no. I think I can, I think I can, I think I can, I can, I, I was wrong! <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's more relatable than the original. <laughs> Indeed. And in the ongoing war of positive mental attitude versus gravity, <laughs> gravity is still undefeated. Yes, yes. Yes. It's wildly true. Fucking Indeed. gravity. <laughs> Tell me about it. I curse it out every single time I get on a scale. That too. <laughs> <laughs> you bastard. Leave me alone. I didn't do anything to you. Right. <laughs> <laughs> the last time I was at the doctor's office, you know, the, the, the perky little med tech person with the perky little clipboard is like, can we please get a weight? And I'm looking at the scale, and I really confused her, and I might have scared her a little bit. <laughs> because I am glaring at the scale, I said, all right, I hate you, you hate me, let's get this over with as quickly as possible. <laughs> and she's just kind of looking at me like, uh oh. <laughs> like, should we be worried here? It's okay. I confuse the hell you all those out little... of the little tech, the little nurse techs that start off. Oh, good, good, good. What? What did you do? I well, I've been in and out of doctor visits and ER visits since I was a small child because asthma. Hooray! Always so fun. So at, at this point, when I switch to the current doctor I have now, because previous one retired. I confuse. I still continue to confuse the hell out of the little texts they have every time I go in, because I know the routine by heart. <laughs> every question is answered before they even have a chance to ask it. <laughs> it it really does throw them off when you sequence break like that. Yeah, and you know the point. The point at which where they you get answer all the questions. They have to do blood pressure and all? Yep. Two questions prior. I'm already rolling up my sleeve and getting prepared. <laughs> They're just kind of <laughs> looking at me like, um, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Why are you confused? It's not like you changed this shit up. <laughs> to, like, to listen to my lungs and heart? They're, 
They don't even have to, like, guide me through the breathing. I'm just automatically already doing it. <laughs> so they're just like, uh, uh huh? <laughs> now, you see, that's when somebody like me in that job would just decide, all right, I'm going to throw you a change up just to fuck with you. Yeah. <laughs> you start doing, you know, like the deep breathing, like, no, 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 no. And you just sing the first eight bars of Carmen. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's a new test. <laughs> Well, and, and my previous doctor, here's the point at which we were at. Because her and I both know I do a lot of medical reading. It's a fascination. I know my shit. <laughs> I which would is go in fair. there. It's fascinating. Like, I would get sick with something that I couldn't myself fix, you know? So mm -hmm. I get a doctor's appointment. The appointment would start off with so, what do you think it is? Tell her, run her tests. Well, you were right. <laughs> <laughs> this sounds like the world's weirdest game show. Right? <laughs> that was fantastic. And welcome back too. to another episode of What Do You Think You Have? <laughs> <laughs> With our host, Dr. Google. <laughs> <laughs> That's the bonus points, though. It's not even Google I get my shit from. Like, I actually have spent money on med books. Am I in school for a medical license? No. No. <laughs> Just the human body is that disturbing and disgusting that I want to know everything I fucking can about it. <laughs> Which is fair. Right? I do the <laughs> same thing. Hell, I do the same thing when it's not even me. A friend tells me I was just diagnosed with yeah. blank. It's like... I now must learn everything there is to know about it. Exactly. Same. <laughs> New because medication. Because if I'm going to be supportive on it. <laughs> and, and help you out and however I can, I got to know what I'm doing. Exactly. <clears throat> you, you just got to. It's the rules. I didn't make them. You didn't make them. It's just the rules. <laughs> yep. We just follow them. <laughs> Uh, Pretty sure it's a tism thing. <laughs> I don't know. It could be. I do know, however, I've started to get rather snarky at their questionnaire. <laughs> Have you been feeling any symptoms of anxiety or depression? Well, I've watched the news recently, so yes. <laughs> part of it is that some of the office staff they actually know me and so <laughs> they'll like say one of those mindless pleasantries without thinking only to know that I'm going to come back with something and it's going to make them laugh <laughs> because that's what I do <laughs> I love it <laughs> like you know I'll go to check in with the nice little office person and say hi I'm here can I please go see a doctor now Right. You know, and without even thinking how are you today <laughs> and you can see in their face that, ah, oh, shit, I left that wide open. <laughs> Fuck, first mistake. For me Janine, to stand there first and go, mistake. <laughs> for me to just stand there and go, hmm, I'm standing in a doctor's office, so I'm going to guess everything is just hunky dory. <laughs> <laughs> see, on that same note, that's why I laugh at these people that get all, like, fi fixed up and put makeup on and shit to go to the doctor. Just like, um,. You know, I'm sure they wouldn't mind if they saw your real face. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, oh, I want to make myself look good for the... No, Why? I'm fucked up, and I don't want it to be my little secret. <laughs> right? I want them to know what they're getting into before they get into it. <laughs> I haven't stopped, stopped sneezing since Tuesday. My body aches. I have a headache, and I think I'm running a temperature, but oh, yeah. Let me know the extra mile like I'm actually going on a fucking date. Right. You're not my type. <laughs> <laughs> or it's like I'm sitting there in this office with like these three other ladies that are just all fixed up to the nines. I'm sitting there in my pajamas, no makeup, shaved <laughs> eyebrows, fucking hair up in a clip, all <laughs> unbrushed, and just sitting there like, I uh, 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 let me go back to bed. <laughs> Fuck this. <laughs> now, you see... 
the problem there is that I have to put in like Herculean effort to rein in the snark. <laughs> Because it's not nice to snipe at somebody who's, you know, waiting to see a doctor. You don't know what's going on with them. But at the same time, you really fucking want to. Yeah. Because I swear, the, okay, the not the last time, but one of the recent times I, I had to go to the office, there was a woman sitting in the waiting room right. who had on, like, a cocktail dress and the full makeup and the oh, hair. And Lord. I just wanted to look at her and go, you know he's married, right? <laughs> <laughs> Homies off the market has been for ages. <laughs> Who are you trying to impress? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> See, I just uh, don't get those people. I don't trust those people. <laughs> no. Like, you're see, I hope the same policy fucked up with you. I don't like it. <laughs> oh yeah, and you're putting way too much effort into it. Yeah. Way too much effort. Just to see a doctor because you might have gangrene. <laughs> it's it's kind of like when you go to a used car lot and there's one like right up front that's all polished and perfect and it looks fantastic and in your heart yeah. you know there is something seriously the fuck wrong in there. Oh somewhere. yeah. <laughs> Oh, yeah. You know that if you pop the hood, it's nothing but rust and dead mice. And... <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. I mean, accurate. It's like a bird no. stuck in the fan belt or something. <laughs> <laughs> fully, fully accurate there. <laughs> uh, fuck. But yeah, my, my general policy is that I always try to make people laugh, as you have probably noticed. Oh yeah. And I this just this a extends bit. to <laughs> yeah, <laughs> this extends to medical personnel as well, because let's face it, they need a fucking laugh oh, in their day. Oh yeah, they fucking do. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they they deal with enough crap. We can at least make it a little bit brighter. <laughs> exactly. I went in to have x-rays done of my hand, which, by the way, side note, still fucked up. Um, but it's not broken. But, uh, no, it's not broken, <laughs> amazingly enough. But that does kind of put us back to the original question of, okay, but what the fuck's wrong with it? True. Um, <laughs> but I got, to, I got to the imaging office, like, 30 minutes before they closed. Oh, gosh. And I walked through the door. There's nobody in the waiting room. The place is silent as a tomb. And the woman at the check-in desk looks up with this expression of, I almost got out of here without any more trouble. Why are you here? <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, I don't want to ruin this person's day. For all I know, they had a patient from hell today and they just don't need any more. And when she said, what are you in for, what do you need? I said, I just need x-rays done of my le my one hand but if now is not a good time i can come back tomorrow it's really not a big deal see and it, they it's, fully it's firmly attached it's, shit. Oh, oh yeah and i'm like i'm like tugging my hand like it's it's firmly attached it's not going to fall <laughs> off between today and tomorrow and she just kind of like chuckled she said let me check with the tech and she disappears for a minute and she comes back and says we got you don't worry so we did all the check-in shit and the uh, x-ray tech comes up and he says, so what brings you in? I said, I want you to take some very dirty pictures of my hand. <laughs> Nothing on. Not even soft tissue. And this dude just busts out laughing. He's like, that's the most original way I've ever heard of somebody asking for that. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> The first, the first time I went to a particular pharmacy to get a flu shot, and I, this pharmacist and I, we're now practically friends. We talk all the time. But the first time I got my vaccination there, um, I asked him, you know, can you do a flu shot today? Yeah, sure. Okay. Then I would like to order one light stabbing with vaccine. Hold the mug. <laughs> And there was that moment of disbelief as she processed what the fuck I said. <laughs> and she turned to her, she turned to her coworker and said, "You got to come here and listen to this." <laughs> I'm like shit, I'm famous now. <laughs> yeah, I got an audience. <laughs> this is fantastic. <laughs> this is the same person who has a really stressful job. 
Yes. And one of the things that they're graded on is how many flu shots they give in a given week. <laughs> and, yeah, I know. I said, so wait a minute, you're, like, beholden to a statistic that in and of itself is beholden to what other people want to do? She said, yeah, that makes no sense, but we're graded on that. That sucks. I said, well, it sounds to me like with your attitude, that's your big problem. She said, what do you mean? I said, you're not thinking into this enough. You need to get yourself a blowgun. <laughs> Station yourself by the front door of the pharmacy. Somebody walks in, they're looking for the toilet paper aisle. <laughs> Good news, you won't get the flu this season. <laughs> Let him stagger around with a dart in their neck like an antelope on Wild Planet. You know? I'm not going to lie. I'm now questioning if I've ever been the reason that someone fucking failed or something. Because of not getting a fucking flu shot. <laughs> in my defense, it One affects time. me really fucking badly. So... <laughs> And that's fair. But now I'm questioning One if time. I made anyone fucking fail their grading as a result. <laughs> now, one time since I've known her, I went and got my... Since I was at the doctor's office anyway, I said, Hey, do you have flu shots? And, yeah, sure. All right, let's just get this shit done. <laughs> and I got my flu shot. Right. And a couple of weeks later, I bumped into the pharmacist and she said, Hey, it's flu season. I said, Yeah, I um, got my shot at the doctor's that. office. <laughs> And the look on her face, my you God, you would have thought I dumped her. her. You cheated I know. on her. It's so much worse. <laughs> and I felt so fucking horrible about it. <laughs> I had no idea that she so looked forward to stabbing me every season. <laughs> that's, that's just the end of it. You're not allowed to get stabbed by anyone else, ever. Until she retires. Well, no, 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 no. The, the next, the next fall, I came in and said, "Okay, I remembered last season when I got my flu shot at my doctor's office, and you were very upset." And she said, "Yeah." I said, "Well, I saved myself for you this season. <laughs> Come on and stab me." And she was so happy. <laughs> And her, her one co-worker, one of the little pharmacy techs, said, well, I can take care of this. And she said, no, I got this. I, <laughs> she, she said it very sharply, too. I look at this pharmacy tech, and it's okay. <laughs> I said, it's okay. Her highlight of every fall is stabbing me with surgical steel, and I don't want to take that away from her. No. <laughs> you did once, and she uh, was very upset about it. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm not doing that again. No. <laughs> Uh, I love it. <laughs> Life is so fucking weird. <laughs> I, I know, right? About as weird as my fucking TikTok, let's be honest. <laughs> Your TikTok has had serious psychological issues recently. Yeah. It's, like, like, it's not okay. getting enough sleep and it's taking way too much caffeine. <laughs> five hours. They're doing the whole five loco or whatever the fuck it is with the five cans of monster energy jink and ten five hour energies. That's what it's doing. <laughs> Holy shit. That's that's what my TikTok's gotta be doing because what the fuck? Good. Good God. Who in the <laughs> hell would consume all of that? Kyle. <laughs> I mean, fuck being awake. At that point, you're seeing into extra dimensions. <laughs> <laughs> That's got to be the only, the only uh, option for my TikTok. <laughs> I mean, I can see somebody who has consumed that much <laughs> caffeine, you know, finally snapping out of it eight hours later and realizing his arms hurt a lot because as he was completely blitzed out, he wandered into a Home Depot and the paint department was just handing him cans to shake because, well, he was doing it anyway. <laughs> he's already vibrating. And so for six hours, he stood there with an apron with somebody else's name on it, just, uh, just shaking cans of paint. <laughs> <laughs> Steve, are you no. all right? I can try the sewing machine while it's running. <laughs> so, no. <laughs> Should we call someone? <laughs> Who? <laughs> I'm guessing the zoo. <laughs> <laughs> 
Call the New England Journal of Medicine because this one's going to be worth the Christmas video. Fuck yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh jeez! <laughs> Can't call him an ambulance, uh, sir. That was an oxygen mask. You weren't meant to swallow it. <laughs> uh, I can already hear the one paramedic guy that I follow. <laughs> Not, not uh, the one that we both share that does the funny fire department skits. It's Badge 502. <laughs> Badge 502 talks a lot about uh, telling us what not to insert into our bodies. <laughs> you know, that's a fair warning coming from paramedics because they've seen a lot of shit that no one should ever see. And it used to and just And it always be... includes... <laughs> and it always includes the phrase... You fell. <laughs> In that tone of voice of, no, you didn't. <laughs> oh, like, his videos used to just simply be like, no. No. <laughs> but now, now, he goes in description of what'll happen to you if you put that inside of your butt. <laughs> right now, the Twitch content advisors are watching this stream, and it's... Like, Having should, a seizure on the floor. <laughs> should we shut this down? <laughs> Meanwhile, the hey. guy who drank the 12 five-hour energies are looking at them having seizures going, ah, I do that too! <laughs> uh, We're shaking hey. buddies! <laughs> I gave a lot less in descript description about it than... Mr. Badge 502 did, so I'm safe. <laughs> and on behalf of everybody, thank you. <laughs> it's fantastic, though. <laughs> Sometimes oh, God, there's just one so certain issues. fucking item that there's people arguing with him about, but, 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 but we can. <laughs> and he's just like, don't! <laughs> There are a lot of things that you can do that you nevertheless should never do. <laughs> it's just fantastic. <laughs> I mean, for God's sake, if the philosophy from fucking Jeff Goldblum in Jurassic Park is applicable to your life, you have done something wrong. Right. Okay? <laughs> They're so obsessed with whether or not they could, they didn't stop to think if they should. This encapsulates a lot of people, especially oh, yeah, ones who does. end up in the ER late at night. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, but I did it. You shouldn't have. <laughs> Look where you are now because you did it. <laughs> But I did it, and congratulations on your achievement. It's going to end up being a lot more expensive than you bargained for. <laughs> You've earned yourself a very expensive surgery as a result. <laughs> and at the holiday party, this story is going to be passed around a lot. <laughs> for years. <laughs> People are just insane. That's all there is to it. Yeah. <sighs> what is the challenge well, this was mode fun. today? <laughs> right? Oh, no. I don't know. I we It's a map we've played before, but what's the challenge part? What map? Cap, camp Woodwind. The oh, smaller no. camp. Yeah. It's like, well, it is one that we've played that we still hate. Is it worth five grand? <laughs> uh, considering that the difficulty is called Hide and Seek Extreme. It's not worth five grand. <laughs> okay, let's see. <clears throat> um, no sanity meds or incense. Uh, you have both flashlights and UV lights, but neither one works. You have 
some tier one shit, some tier two. Your sanity starts at zero, and without any sanity meds, you're screwed. Um, I mean, that would get us the daily. <laughs> Reach zero sanity. <laughs> this is true. <laughs> it's so far, not yeah. worth five grand. This sucks. <laughs> I know! We haven't been able to do one of these challenge modes in fucking months. I mean, we could, but... Uh, no. <laughs> I mean, yeah, we could, but there's a lot of things you can do it's, that you shouldn't. Exactly. I believe we just recently established that. We were just establishing this. <laughs> uh you challenge mode. Give us the one we can actually do. <laughs> Seriously, it's been like months since we were able to do a challenge mode. It's been a damn long that time. That we could actually pass. <laughs> Easily. <laughs> Just cut or out even those reasonably. pauses. <laughs> Just cut, cut out all those pauses to make it one fluid sentence. <laughs> sure. Sure. <laughs> Fifteen paramikes. Ugh. Well, Good grief. That one. That one's decently simple to do. Anyway, Just assuming we remember to bring the power mic, pa para mic in, power mic. <laughs> the power mic. <laughs> 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 No, no, that's the living everything. room fan. <laughs> that's the living oh, room God. fan. <laughs> I fucking swear. <laughs> Loudest fan in history. <laughs> we walk in, you just see tools <laughs> levitating as the ghost is fixing the fan because he can't stand just, it either. <laughs> I would not be surprised. I'd be jumping in like, here, bro, let me help you. <laughs> Shit's not going to fall when I get spooked and I decide to go invisible or whatever the fucking word is. Where shit falls through you. <laughs> He's banging a screwdriver on the ceiling. What the? Oh, he needs a Phillips. Great. Uh, quick, go to the, go to the garage. Um, right side, there's a toolbox. <laughs> All right, See? homie, you hang in there. I'm going to go get you some duct tape. Cool? Yeah. <laughs> See, you know, no, no wonder the ghosts are always so pissed off at Tanglewood. It's that fucking fan. <laughs> oh, uh, shit. I would be fucking furious. If I were stuck in that house for the rest of my supernatural life, I would be furious. I'd be like, fuck it. I have to listen to this for fucking ever. Are you kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> fucking bullshit. I'm killing the next people that come in here. <laughs> And on that note, here we go. <laughs> Did you see that tip? I saw that tip. That was stupid. loading screen tips, I swear. <laughs> we got this. I want to fix that fucking fan, though. Now I'm going to be stuck on it. I hate that fan. It's so loud. <laughs> Make living room fan quieter or let us fix it our cells. Possibly do one and three. Uh, well, while no. it's chasing someone? Never mind. Yeah. I didn't see the chasing someone part. And, well, uh, maybe number three. Our ghost does not three. have the best name. 
Yeah, number three is possible. Ah, fucking Larry. And the power's in the basement. Oh, joy. Lovely. Oh, Aren't we excited? No. <laughs> Me either. <laughs> you know, the wise words of a ghost hunter is coming to mind right now. Oh? Yeah, Ernie Hudson from Ghostbusters. This job is not worth eleven five a year. <laughs> It's here. Throwing fucking shit all around. Holy shit. Cross down real quick. <clears throat> yeah, good idea. Oh, oh. Ooh. Need a hand with dinner? <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, ooh, and we got a mirror. Uh, just as a reminder, that was an EMF 5. Oh. Get stuff. I should have left the black light in there. Oh well. Do it on the return trip. Holy shit. He's a grumpy bastard in there. Be grumpy. It's the fan. I'm telling you. I'm telling you, he's mad at the fan. You know, that's not entirely implausible. <clears throat> it's just so loud. You can hear it from anywhere in the house. Excuse you, and did, I was trying to help out and let him know why you were angry. You throw a picture down. <laughs> that's not nice. Some salt put down. Please don't. Ah. Salt on the bench. Thank you. Welcome.
just ahead of time, just in case. Oh, I missed the picture. What a dick. Right? Oh. Well, that rules out one thing. Oh, footprints. Wait, where? I don't see them. They disappeared almost as quickly as I hit them. Ah. But it was the path that he walked when he spooked me. Oh. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Alright, so we need freezing dots, orbs, or writing. Okay. Bet you we're gonna find orbs. Most likely. <clears throat> Let's have a look see. Saw that cup oh, flip. Shit on the table. <laughs> yeah. feel like I'm being censored by whatever you got in the background. <laughs> oh, more footprints. Only toes, here I come. Hmm. Oh, got para, by the way. Oh, cool. So, one of 15. <laughs> Yay. Self-grumpy. 
don't know who to guess. Those cabinets open? Yep. I did not know that. <laughs> like, I knew that one did, but I didn't know the rest of them did. <laughs> One of our options is a Gorio, and dots only show up on camera. Right. Yay. All right, this is getting annoying. Right? Jeez, he's real active. Holy crap. Right? Uh, no dots. Hmm. Oh great, he tripped the breaker. Delightful! Is that he just threw it? Did he throw the book? There's something he told the book, at least. Jim Williams. Hmm. 
Okay. All right, it's not going to be a miling because it threw the books, so that's right. no writing. It's not going to be a gin because it turned off the breaker and gins aren't allowed to do that. So it's got to be the Gorio then, yeah? Yeah, because... Uh... I mean, we're not getting dots, but... My gut is telling me it's no Baki. And I'll tell you why. Oh? Obakis have the ability to make fingerprints disappear twice as fast as normal. And those True. first footprints that we found, they vanished, like, damn near immediately. Makes sense. <sighs> We should be seeing orbs. <coughs> oh, dots! Ooh! We just got dots. Nice! It's a Gorio. Oh. Took long enough. Fucking right? Bastard. <laughs> no nuggets for you, Larry. Fucking Larry. Um, <laughs> you circle? <laughs> Good to go. Oh, shit. What? He spiked a nine. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Guess he didn't like that. <laughs> Welcome back. I prepared some jobs for you. Scammy to do. 50 interactions. I can believe that. Spent three minutes outside of the favorite room. Two events. Hmm. Fucking Larry. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently he spent three minutes outside of his favorite room. How much would have bet all three of those minutes were when we were watching the cameras? Most likely. Most likely. <laughs> and I think it was it was fifty objects used or something like that. <laughs> That sounds about right, yep. It tracks, it tracks. <laughs> it tracks, indeed. Apparently two events. Uh, yeah. The uh, Fusebex toggle counts as an event? No, no, or... no, it did two spooks on us. Oh. Uh, that makes sense. There was the one that happened when it was the shadow and it walked toward me in the corner. And then there was the other one, it was real brief, it killed the lights, went, <sighs> and then that was it. Ah. Uh... Gotcha. Uh, I'm pretty yeah, sure yeah, I yeah. just stepped on one of the photos that it knocked down. <laughs> <laughs> Most likely. I wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> Ready? Ready to go. Let's... Running isn't always the best option. Mm -hmm. You fucking know. Now. Filing a complaint against Larry. It's going into the complaint email as well. Oh, it's snowing. I 
It's snowing. Well, we can possibly do two of these. Yeah, we can definitely do one. Yeah. And the power's down in the stinking basement again. Damn it. It's going to be a basement kind of night, isn't it? It sure is not looking that way, isn't it? Damn it. As long as that's all that's down there. Yep. Better be all that's down there. Just saying, now. Damn it. Finish my sweet. Freezing camps. in this room, is EMF five. Holy shit! A little short one too. Zoika for the sub. You fucking rock! Thank you so, so we much. So got Noni. Wow. I haven't found the bone yet.
again. <laughs> I got you. I thought you said we got EMF 5. We did. It's checked off on my side. Oh, it's not checked off for me. That's weird. Weird. <laughs> Going all right. We already know what ghost this is. And apparently the game be glitching a bit. Because it's not showing him that we got him. We haven't found the ball yet. Is my flashlight on? Otherwise, going pretty good. Hey, ghost, do you want a bone? Because I do. do things. It does seem like it's working now. From what last I looked at, looked at it. Do you always talk through para? Oh, it's a fucking child. That makes all the sense. Like, I'll look in, look through it much more in depth later, but I got logged in and stuff. Awful fucking brave right now. Yeah, you didn't tell me it was a fucking child. <laughs> well, I did say it was a little short one. Tr true. True. <laughs> By the way, did you do that to the hammer? <laughs> yeah, I did. It was in my life. <laughs> nice. And I got para. Perfect. child in me and I didn't like it. Oh, wow. What? Thermometer bottomed out. It's down at negative 10. Oh, shit. I just need two more pictures. Could you help me out, please? Just don't spook me. My heart can't handle it. Just one more. Let's see 
excuse me. You know, I really miss the overlay for me from Twitch Studio, where it would like show chat and redemptions on my screen. What? All right, I just got screwed on a photo. What? Oh I no! Took a photo of the tarot cards and it rejected oh, the whole thing. Oh, I already got a picture of them. Well, that would explain one. That's okay. My fault for not checking. No worries. I forgot to let you know, too. <laughs> <laughs> that may be the fastest we've gotten all the evidence. Oh, that was without a doubt the fastest. Like, that <laughs> wow, that was like boom. Nelly. You were <laughs> Nelly. You were very cooperative. Thank you. I think she was just like, please, just get out of my house. Do your shit. Get out, <laughs> please. <laughs> Alrighty, um, circle up and good to go? Good to go. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> it's the chicken nugget dance. <laughs> Welcome back. I've prepared some jobs for you. Fuck yeah. It's because we're professionals. <laughs> 44 seconds outside of the room. Wow. Let's get that one out of the way. Listen for distant sounds. Did you know you're supposed to do that? I have no idea. <laughs> huh. Pretty damn sure that truck guy, you know, the one that never comes in or helps us, besides driving us to the job and to Wendy's afterwards, writes those loading screen tips. 100%, you know. Got to write the complaint email. Got to get everything in. It's the only way to get it done is to do it while you're on the job. Did you know that? Good way to do it. <laughs> I still have some Dr. Pepper creamy coconut. Fabulous, by the way. Am I seeing my breath again? Is it snowing again? Oh, I'm writing more complaints. <laughs> We've arrived. Check this it is fucking snowing again. Oh, come on. Bastards. Hey, we could do these. Two of them for sure. And like, the third, if the ghost is feeling cooperative. Agreed. Actually, that could go for both one and three, for sure. 
if it's mm-hmm. being cooperative. Because, you know, our luck with the shades. And the power is up in the attic. Of course it is. Damn it. Of course it is. Head gear. Head gear. Head gear. <laughs> I never remember. And then I forget to use it half the time, which, you know, totally helpful. <clears throat> Power's up. Good shit. Oh, nice, an axe on the table, that's... Not creepy at all. It's like, is that the bone? Orb in the living room. Alrighty. Where was the voodoo doll? Uh, top of the stairs, turn left. It's on a chest on the door wall. Okay, okay. Start throwing shit at me. You see that bear bottle? No, no. I didn't like that. What happened? What happened? I was doing the initial setup and it started playing with the rocking chair. Oh, God. What door was that? Oh, no. Uh, this one. No fingers. Okay. Go grab stuff. I stole the beer it threw at me. Maybe it just wanted me to have a drink. Lighten up a little bit, you know? Maybe. Me personally, I think that's the only the like the second time I've found orbs while walking through. Bitch. God, I hate that. We could do without the grudge noise. You know it's serious when rain starts open micing the fucking ghosts. <laughs> that is one of the universal you know, signs. I did not realize I was still on voice activation. <laughs> Surprise! <laughs> there. <laughs> I didn't realize I was still open, Mike. 
Got feet print. That's the only thing we have so far, right? No, we got orbs and UV now. Oh yeah, you did say orbs. Sorry <laughs> about that. That's okay. Get more salt. Here's some more salt. Well, thank you. Another robot. I need so many pictures. That's a little stressful because Obakis don't like me. So it's much so cool. content, right? Getting so much content for my only toes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm happy that you're happy. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna go get the para. Oh, I thought you already brought one in. No. Well, there's one missing. That's really weird, because I don't have one on me. Oh. No, there isn't. That's bizarre. <laughs> the game is really messing with us tonight. <laughs> Either that or just being exhausted is messing with me. It's a team effort. And got it. Whoops. Like, as soon as I turned the fucking thing on. Oh, 
<laughs> Are we about to get a perf? Wait a minute, did we just get a perfect? I'm pretty damn sure. <laughs> yeah, we did. Uh, wait a minute, wait a minute. What about the bones? <sighs> oh, 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 nope. Uh, mm. We're full on pictures anyway. All right. literally be anywhere. Not a bone, just a phone. Boo. Got it. Where was it? Uh, bathroom at the top of the stairs. Uh -huh. To be fair, it was a pelvis as well. <laughs> well, that at least tracks. <laughs> right? <laughs> Done did it. <laughs> I'm glad we remembered the bone before we done fuck it up. <laughs> right? Oh my god. We would have been all excited for fucking nothing. Ready to go? Good to go. Excuse me. <laughs> There's a hiccup that backfired. Oh no! <laughs> we earned. Woo! Parabolic upgrade! Perfect game. It's been a minute. It's been a minute since we got one. One ability, one event. Yeah, that one minute and seven seconds, it went to the kitchen for a snack.
pretty sure that one minute and seven seconds that it spent out of the favorite room was when it went to the kitchen for a snack. I mean, honestly, that's fair. Can you really blame him? Right? Rock, you know, pl sitting around in a rocking chair is hard work. Really builds up an appetite. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> Throwing shade much? <laughs> No, no, that was an Obaki. <laughs> oh, God. talking to you. <laughs> I'm legit crying. You want to do one more? <laughs> yeah, let's do it. <laughs> you were really fucking quick, man. <laughs> hey, even I'm impressed with that. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> I like this music. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that was fantastic. We're highlighting that after stream. We're highlighting that. <laughs> that was beautiful. <laughs> It's just plain beautiful. <laughs> one for sure, one questionable, and the other one doubtful. Sounds about right. Yeah. In other words, typical Faz. Yep. And the tower's down in the basement again. Figures. But it's warm out. Oh, at least that. Yep. <laughs> uh, EMF in the kitchen thrown. Delightful. Sweep for the bone first. Just in case. Ooh, got UV. Oh, yeah? Okay, now I need a bone.
I'm being brave. I'm being brave. I'm being very, very brave. I'm big and brave. I am big and brave. I was big and brave. Got the tarot cards in the living room. Okay. I've yet to find a damn bone. I will get stuff in a minute. Okay. This is kind of pissing me off a little bit. You should see where the bone is. Alright, where are you? Front bathroom. Oh, Lord. <laughs> right? <laughs> what the f- uh, Alright. Okay. See why you needed to see it? <laughs> yeah, yeah, thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> That's... So by the rules of the game, it should only be able to spawn the bone in a spot where the ghost can walk. I don't think, unless this ghost is a champion uh, tightrope walker... <laughs> That's pretty impressive. Just like the time yeah. when we found the one on the uh, bed frame. Also, yeah, hi. <laughs> Another good one? <laughs> Then, of course, we had the one bastard bone mm -hmm. on the hand truck. Never gonna forget that one. Ugh. In fact, we obsessively check that now. <laughs> Every time I go down to the basement, it's one of the places I scan. <laughs> Go get more stuff. I need. Mean, oh, good timing. Got orbs. Are we gonna have another Obaki? one in a row, I think. Spirit box appears to be a dub. Wait, what? No good on spirit box. Totally not what I heard. I think he's wandering. loudest fan in the world. That is
but he's walking around in here. Hmm. Temp is dropping like a rock out here in the living room. Degrees. Did he switch rooms then? I don't know. True. I heard that Not from really. here, you son of a bitch. Guessing. <laughs> Where is it on the fucking list? No, it's not low temperatures. Banshee, maybe? That was just not okay. Mm. <laughs> so we either have a banshee or a mimic. If it's a banshee, we'll have dots. Um. Not shit being thrown, dots. <laughs> Six or an eight. That's an eight. Huh? Nothing. I just couldn't read something for a moment. Ah, gotcha. I'm thinking we probably have a mimic. Wouldn't be surprised. No. So we would need freezing and spirit box. Yeah. Let's pill up. Good idea. Love it. Where are you? Where are you? Friendly? How old are you? You want to give Spirit Box a try? I'm batting a zero here. Okay. 
Sure. Where are you? How'd you die? Have you always sucked this many dicks? Where are you? How old are you? Oh. Might help to turn the fucking thing on, right? That does generally improve its <laughs> performance, yes. Where are you? How old are you? How many dicks can you take? Where are you? <sighs> he doesn't want to tell me how many dicks he can suck. Picking up on a little hostility. <laughs> little bit. I mean, he did burn the cross right under my feet, so. <laughs> what, a second time? No, that first time. Oh. Oops. Done with pictures. Alrighty. Now, if we could just get that last piece of evidence, we can get the hell out of here. Right. I don't like that. box has been a bust, so. Well. I don't feel safe looking at that while we're inside. I don't. Okay. Alright. Let's look. Banshee. Need dots. The Obaki. We need EMF5. To, we need freezing temps, which we're not getting. I'm done with the camera. We're not getting a perf. We're just not. What do you guys think? Freezing temps. Oh, nice. Let's see. So it's got to be the Hantu then, since we're not getting spirit box, right? So judging by spirit box, it's got to be the Hantu then, right? Yep. 
uh, I cannot imagine that we would have drawn a blank on Spirit Box that many times, <laughs> and it was still a mimic. Right. Which means that it's going to be a mimic. <laughs> right. With our luck. Alrighty. You uh, circled up on Huntu? Good to go. Alright, let's see if we get screwed. Bastard. <laughs> <laughs> Still getting extra nuggets. I think we are. Okay. Welcome back. I've got some jobs ready for you. He was a mimic. I don't believe it. Maybe we should have tried spirit box in the living room. I don't know. It would, it's still bullshit. I don't know. I mean, because the spirit box is based on range to the ghost, not favorite room. And that's why I have the motion detectors out, to mm. Right. I think next time we're doing planet crafting. Yeah. Unlock our flying fish. Unlock the flying fish. <laughs> well, fast, despite man. the game being a dick, this was fun, as yes. always. Still got to shit talk some ghosts. Yep. We got a perfect game. Yep. We're good. <laughs> yes, we are. Especially that one round that we got all the evidence within like a minute. <laughs> yeah. That was pretty shocking because that doesn't happen to us. <laughs> I know. That, that was definitely uh, one of our fastest runs. Like... We always have to fight for the fucking evidence. <laughs> yeah, especially the third one. Yeah. But no, it was just like, yeah, no, here you go, guys. Just please leave. Be nice. I'm like, yeah, cool. We got you. Yeah, I mean. Even right, though you, hey, you broke gave us the rules, you're being nice. Yeah, yeah you, you atoned for it, and yeah. it's appreciated. They, they made up for it. I'll accept the apology. <laughs> Alrighty, uh, Rain. Still fun. Well, <laughs> yes, still fun. You take care, uh, and we'll do this well. again soon. Fingers crossed for halfway decent sleep. <laughs> uh, wouldn't that be nice? At just a halfway decent. That's not asking too much. <laughs> no, it's not asking too much, but at the same time. You know, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah. I'll catch you next time, my friend. See you later, Ray. <sighs> that last one was bullshit. I don't accept that. Welcome back. I prepared some jobs for you. I don't accept that. Fucking bastard. At least I got plenty of content from, you know, my only toes. <laughs> but thank you all so, so much for hanging out with us. You also think that last one was bullshit? Make sure you smash that like. Maybe subscribe while you're at it. If you think. If you think. <laughs> Up to you. Hope you all have a fantastic night, day, or morning, depending on what it is for you. You know, usual. For now, I'll catch y'all next time. Bye-bye! <laughs>